Hi, for this video we're going to solve a system of equation using substitution. And I typically use substitution if one of my variables is already solved for. It doesn't matter whether y is solved for or whether x is solved for. Um, you can substitute in either one. It's called substitution because you're simply going to replace your variable with the expression that it's equal to. Um, for this first example, this is the easiest format when both of them are already solved for. So we already have y completely solved for. So what we would do is, and it doesn't matter which one you pick to use, I'm just going to say since y equals 5x plus 17, I have this, I know that this is true. I'm going to take and I'm going to replace my y in the second equation with that expression. So instead of writing y, I'm just writing what it's equal to. So Instead of saying y equals 5x plus 17, or sorry, y equals x plus 9, I'm going to say 5x plus 17 equals x plus 9. So all I did to get this expression was I took the 5x plus 17 and replaced it in for the y here. Now, because we only have one variable, we would just simply solve this equation. So I would move my smaller x term, and so I end up with 4x, and then I would also move my constant term to the other side. I'm just going to do both at the same time. And 9 minus 17 gives me negative 8. So if we solve this equation, we end up with x equals negative 2. Remember that we have two variables. We have to find both x and y to make this true. So now we would just pick either one of these to replace this back in. Um, since this one is easier, I'm just going to replace the x right here with the negative 2. So instead of writing x, I'm going to write negative 2 plus 9, so we can see that y equals 7. So depending upon the level of class you are in, you may be able to just write your answer like this. Um, it may also require you to have an ordered pair, so just remember in an ordered pair you could write it as x comma y, so negative 2 comma 7. So either way is an acceptable format of writing it, it just really depends on um, your teacher's preference. I would always just take the time to check, even if that just means to plug it back in in your head. Since you guys can't see um, what's inside my head, I'm going to go ahead and just write it down. So I want to check both of them to make sure that both of these solutions that it makes sense. So I'm going to replace the y with 7, and I'm going to replace the x with negative 2, and we're just going to see if this is a true statement. Um, 7 does equal negative 10 plus 17 because 17 minus 10 is 7. So it does work in that one. And you can easily see in this one that um, negative 2 plus 9 does give you 7. But I'll just go ahead and write it down so that you can see that it does work in the second equation also. If you take the time to check, then you know that you did everything correct and that you won't get anything wrong on your um, tests or quizzes that you do for this. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.